Hi guys, Steve here, and I'm going to show you a program called Voice Attack and how to use it. Voice Attack is a program that lets you use your key commands via voice to control your games. So you can do cool stuff like this. Half speed. Target. Full speed. Power to weapons. Bomb weapons. Target destroyed. Okay, first thing you need to do is go to their website to download the software, and that's at voiceattack.com. They let you have a 21 day limited trial, but trust me, just buy the software because it'll be the best $8 you'll ever spend. When it's downloaded, install the software. I'll show you the process, but if you know what you're doing, you can skip this bit. Install it where you want. I think on the free trial version you can only have one game profile with 20 commands. Next it'll ask you to train the speech engine. But before we do that, make sure your recording level on your mic's high enough. Go to control panel, hardware and sound. Then in the sound section, click Manage Audio Devices. From here, click the Recording tab. Select your microphone and click Properties. Click the Levels tab. Make sure the record volume is high enough. I always keep it at 100%. Okay, now that's done. We need to train the computer to recognize your voice. Click the link on the window. Then click the Open Speech Recognition Control Panel. Now, if you've not set up a mic before, you might want to click the Setup Microphone just to make sure it's working. Then read the paragraph and the green bar should fluctuate to show you that your mic's working. When you've done this, go back and recheck your mic record volume, as this process usually lowers it again. But you don't need to do any of that if your mic's already set up. Next, click the Train Your Computer to Better Understand You link. Click Next. All you have to do now is speak the phrases it tells you so your computer can recognise your voice. Make sure you at least finish the first set. The more phrases you finish, the better the computer will understand you. So I completed it to the second stage. Voice Attack works in tandem with your speech recognition software. So once this is done, we can now start creating our game profiles. Now we go back to Voice Attack. You load the game profiles here. And this is where you edit them. Next go to Profiles and create a new profile. I'm just going to call this one test. Now we create the voice commands for the game. Click new command. Now type the phrase you'll say to activate that command. I'm going to say landing gear down. When I do say that, I want it to activate a key on my keyboard. So click key press. And then on your keyboard, you click the corresponding key that activates your landing gear, which on Elite is the insert key. And when that's done, you click OK. And OK again, and we've made our first command. Next we want to do a command to raise our landing gear. So click New Command again. And I'm going to say Landing Gear Up. Again, you want to link it to the key that activates the landing gear. So click Key Press, then press the Insert key again on your keyboard. Now to give yourself more freedom in case you forget a command, I'm going to create other phrases that does the same action. Like just saying landing gear to lower and raise it. Again I just click the corresponding key on my keyboard. I'm going to create a few more to do the same function. Retract landing gear. Then lower landing gear. Okay, 
Okay, I'm going to skip forward a bit until I've created them all. Right, overlanding gear commands are done, so let's test them. Landing gear. Okay, that'll work fine. So what you do is repeat the process with all the other commands. Moving the controls away from the keyboard makes the game easier and more fun to play. That's the basics, but I'm now going to show you some other things voice attack can do. At the bottom right of the screen, you can see the power to the ship systems. You can move the power around by pressing the arrow keys on your keyboard. Each press adds an increment of 1 to the system you want, but also takes away 1 from your other systems. There might be times you want all your power to go to weapons and engines, or weapons to shields. When you're using voice attack, you don't want to say power to weapons 4 times. So I'm going to show you how to do a multiple action from one command. I'll just open up my main elite profile. Click edit and I'll show you what I did. These are my full power to system commands. Full power to weapons, shields and engines. I'll click edit to show you the command. So when I say full power to weapons, it presses the right arrow on my keyboard. That's correct, but I want it to press it four times. So I'll go back to this window and then click the little plus sign on the top right to open it up more. This gives you more commands to pick from, on the bottom right you can select how many times you want to repeat the action. As you can see I've already input 4, so when I say full power to weapons, it presses the right arrow 4 times. Then you just repeat this for full power to shields and engines. All you have to do now is say full power to engines, full power to systems, or full power to weapons. To make things more immersive, you can even add a voice response to your commands. I've recorded a selection of responses that will be played once a command is activated. Affirmative. Arming weapons. Boost. Confirmed. Disarm weapons. Display activated. Display deactivated. You can make the responses anything you like, all you have to do is link the sound files to the actions. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. When you've got your folder of sound files, go to your system and find your voice attack folder. Open up the sounds folder, then you drag your voice folder into that one. This is where I'm going to store all my responses. Next go back to voice attack, click edit profile. Find the command you want a response for, select it and click edit. That takes us to our command and basic key press action. On the left click other. Now go to the top and click the scroll down window. This gives you a new list of commands you can do, but the one we want is play a sound. Next click the search box, then find the corresponding response to the command you want. For this one it's full power to engines. There it is, so click open, then preview to test it. Full power to engines. And that's it. Now when I say full power to engines, it will play that sound and I'll get a confirmation response. Repeat this process and you'll end up with something like this. Half speed. Confirmed. Target. Target confirmed. Speed to 75. 
Confirmed. Full power to weapons. Full power to weapons. Arm weapons. Arming weapons. Full speed. Full speed ahead. Weapon comes. Affirmative. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Hello there, Captain. Hello, Captain. How are you today? Oh, this game is wicked! That's it, guys. They're the main functions for voice attack. There are other options to play about with, like text-to-speech, where your computer reads back to you a phrase that you've written. But you get a better result if you record your own responses. Thank you for watching, and if it was helpful, please like and subscribe. Goodbye.